and we are live. We are here with In Stereo, Hello, the biggest yes. boy band in Australia right now. What's up, guys? Not bad. What's Pretty up? No, Don't nothing, worry. Yeah. Happy, Happy to be here. Good. So yeah, here we are, um, Girlfriend HQ. We are so excited to have you guys in the building. Um, really pretty chuffed that you named your latest single after us, like you yeah. have to, <laughs> but we appreciate it, no, 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 I'm kidding. Just a coincidence. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. What do you think? Oh, fully intended. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so you looked at Girlfriend Magazine like, that's, that's it. the that's one. It. That's a lot. Very strategic. So, um, tell me about it, because it must be amazing to hear a track, like I've heard it all over the radio, like it's going off. How does that feel for you guys? I think it's our first um, song that's like been consistently played on the radio for like an, an, a, a very large time, yeah. amount of time, and I think that, uh, I mean, if you if you go on like something like Spotify, you can get ads on yeah. Spotify where you'll hear a girlfriend song. on it, and you and you'll be like, yeah, it's insane. <laughs> like we've, it's, we've never experienced anything like that before, and it's just yeah, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. it's very cool. Must be a massive highlight because you guys had a huge year last year. I know yeah. you played a bunch of live shows, like you did some summer shows. So, like, I'm sure your fans would love to know. Like, have you got some more shows planned this year? Like, what's in store for 2017? We've got like yeah. we got two shows announced now. Today. Yeah, so we're we're doing um, we're doing a couple a couple of festivals in April, um, which are really cool. Um, we're doing Cool for Summer with Amplify and Bring It On Fest, which was announced today. And then Amazing. Teen Vibes in June, July. Teen Vibes as well. Um, um, however, um, our actual in stereo shows, we're kind of like waiting until we have we have a few plans yeah, before yeah, that point. Before. So uh, yeah. okay, we're just gonna sweet. we're just gonna you know. We're going to do our festivals and yeah. things like that while doing our secret behind the scenes. Yeah, kind that's of thing. awesome. And I think doing all ages festivals, that's such a good way to like get out there and like see yeah, these that's people. So much yeah. fun. We love meeting new people as well. So yeah, so we've so only fun. done a couple of festivals and they were so much fun. Yeah, um, awesome. Like one we did on Surfers Paradise Beach last year. Oh, it's probably, so probably my favourite show yeah, ever, so. honestly. Yeah, awesome. What was so good about that was just having the ocean in front of you. Well, like, um, we had the. We had the um, like the surf, the surf strip, is paradise, the like shops and street. The strip. Yeah, like the, whole strip, the whole strip was audience. in front of us. And then if you were like looking at us, you'd see all the ocean behind us. And it was just, it's, I think it's, it's, like, I think yeah. it's our first like um, big open Crowded concert. Show. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So um, cool. just yeah. to walk out there and see so many people there, I'm like, wow, this is awesome. It like kicks in like 0.5 seconds, you step out there, like, oh, okay, yeah. we're performing. It yeah. must be a crazy yeah, feeling cool. getting up on stage. Yeah. It's good. You guys said that you're doing Amplify as yes. well. Like, do you guys, like, are you fans of YouTubers? Like, yeah, are there absolutely. any that you're following at the moment that you're loving or you're looking forward to meeting? We did um, we did Amplify last year, and Ty Levi's on it again yeah, this year, I think. Awesome. And we, we met Ty uh, last year as well, and he was a he was a cool guy. Yeah, so yeah, cool. Nice. Looking forward to seeing him again. Troy, yeah, we, we met, met Troy. It was um, so cool. in Melbourne. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Oh, no, was it Melbourne? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah, yeah, he came yeah. to the show. He was lovely. Yeah, like, he's, he's such, such adorable. a nice guy. Yeah, Troy. Yeah. So t I want to talk about the video for Girlfriend because I know you filmed at a theme park, and yeah. I just like I'd really love to know. Like, did you have to like go on the Ferris wheel like fifty times to get the shot? Like, what was that the, like? The Ferris wheel for me, that was the, I think that was the third last shot of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. yeah, it was the third last shot of the night. That's Just when like actually the, the rides were actually stopping. <laughs> so I get to, I got to go on at the end with everybody else who was going on at the end. So then they just like gave everybody an extra three go around, so <laughs> we filmed it all in one big chunk. <laughs> so like, yeah. yeah, everybody was like, <laughs> me and Chris had to just sit in the bottom like, I want to go on a Ferris wheel. Yeah, <laughs> no, this is just me up there, man. Was it a long day of filming? Like, does that? You know, um, you guys... It actually wasn't too yeah. long because. We had to. We had a very short window with the, the lighting because we wanted to get it at this particular time where like the sun was sort of setting. Oh, like sunset vibes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we sort yeah. of had like a three-hour block that we had to film all of it in. And yeah. 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 We we got it. So done. we we had a day previous before the actual shoot where we, you know, uh, brought all the girls in and stuff, and we we had like a storyboard and we just like had a script and we just be yeah okay we'll do this then we'll jump in over yeah. to this yeah. section and we'll do this. So once we were there on the actual day, it was. We got it all done real quick. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, well, it's an amazing video. We absolutely Thank love you so it. Much. Cheers. Um, so, um, I'd also love to know, obviously, and I think everyone, all your fans out there, would love to know the answer this, to this question: Will there be an album in the future, or another EP, or like anything I guess you it's can just, tell us? You know, it's just a, it's just a matter of like time and. The, it, yeah. There's definitely something coming. It's, there's like, something coming, but it's something we it's can't say secret. because otherwise it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Fair enough. Watch this space, I think. Okay, so, um, good Sorry. answer there. So, um, we asked uh, the guys on, across our socials, like all of your fans, to write in their burning questions for you. So, I yeah. picked out a few of our faves. 
Um, so guys, if you wrote in your questions, make sure you watch just to find out if yours gets asked. So first of all, Belle Carney wants to know, what is your perfect pizza? Perfect pizza. Ooh, I think it's going to be different for all of us, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's start. Oh, go, Chris. Chris. Oh, it just depends where Chris, I am. Chris, your favourite you know? food is pizza. My favourite food is pizza, but you know, it just depends where you are. Um, I'd probably say ham and cheese. Just simple, and, yeah. simple and easy. Yeah. What about um, pineapple season? No pineapple. Oh, yeah, what's your oh. verdict? We did a poll on this recently. No, no. no. If, you have, if you have pineapple on your there, pizza, there is fruit, you're insane. There is there fruit and there is pizza. Would you have a fruit salad on a pizza? Yeah, no. Pineapple yeah, does not belong. Have pizza and fruit salad. Yeah, you I can have them together, but not it on. It should never be me. It shouldn't be me. What if you have pizza every time it's brought up? I found this meme on on Facebook the other day. What if you had pizza on pineapple? Like you cut open mm. a pineapple and it was a pizza inside. I'm not yeah, down. No, no. Don't like that. Imagine like yeah. melting cheese <laughs> over a pineapple. My um, so my nice. favorite type of pizza would be no pizza because I'm not a pizza fan. No but pizza. if I had to have pizza, it would probably be uh, barbecue chicken or meat lovers. Meat yeah. lovers is good, yeah. especially Domino's meat lovers. Love that. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a I bit, like I like uh it's a bit like unhealthy. It. Yeah. It's good. I like uh I like making my own at home. Like I get the you get the bread, then you get the sauce, <laughs> then you get the cheese, and then you get the ham and then you get the bacon. I just like yeah. ham, ham, bacon, ham, ham, bacon, 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 the whole pig. Yeah. And like the gratification that you made it yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Like, I like making yeah. my own food because I know what I'm eating. Yeah. Sweet. So Emily McMullen <laughs> wants to know what is the <laughs> Emily wants to know what is the first thing you notice on a girl? Mm. Their eyes, smile. Mm, yeah. Um, just how they speak generally. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person. Person, I like con conversing. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. There you go, Emily. Um, Vishy Coolen wants to know which artist would you most like to collaborate with? Me. Ooh. Just give three different ones. You go first. Ed yeah, Sheeran. Go for it. Hands down, Ed Sheeran. Um, yeah, Justin Timberlake. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh damn! But how cool would it be, be like to do like a, a song with Kanye West? Like, you know, maybe like <laughs> 30, 30 second like songs, just like the jokes. Just, like, just, yeah. the, just the skit yeah. song in the middle. Fun. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be amazing. Um, okay, Daniela Haydar wants to know what is your one annoying habit? Mm. Gotta own up. I bite my nails, like constantly, and everybody like freaks out. They're like, Ethan, get. Like, stop biting your nails, and it's like, I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I chew a lot of gum. Um, it's like an addiction. I don't know if that's like. I guess that could annoying. be annoying, like, yeah. if you do it loudly. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'm subtle about it, but I don't really know what else. What else is annoying about me? Mm. Well, I, I guess it could be annoying because if you keep constantly pulling gum out, everybody wants it, and then you say no. Yeah, it's more annoying for oh. me. Oh, and then oh, <laughs> yeah, before school, you go and you buy a piece, of, like a gum packet, and then you pull one out. Like, and then everyone oh, at school is just like, hey, oh, hey people. Yeah. End of the day, it's like, <laughs> I swear I didn't chew this much gum. I don't know. Um, what would my annoying habit be? Do you guys want to answer for him? Asking if his hair's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just hair got a new haircut. Great. He keeps oh, asking if it's alright, but I actually, I like it. Oh, it's gonna grow on me. It's a bit short. Mm. Literally. Yeah. Hey, oh, because it's hair. <laughs> kind of for you. Okay. Um, Angela Alex wants to know what is your favorite Snapchat filter? Oh. Good question. I like. Angela. Look, there's, there's this <laughs> there's whole so many stigma. Now. There's this there's whole it. stigma around the dog filter, but that's probably my favorite. Dog filters are cute. I just cute. like the stickers like, and, and throwing. I like just new, random stickers. I like everywhere. the new sheep one. The sheep one. <laughs> sheep I haven't one. seen the sheep. I like that one. Is it a sheep? It makes you into a sheep. Oh, oh yeah, I did oh, see that one. Like the one right at the front. Like <laughs> yeah. The best, yeah. the best one is the one where you open your mouth and then it w opens wide and then it's another one of your head. You know, you open yeah, your mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 you know, the toilet one that you, like, you, you, you got like flushed down the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That was one of my favourites. Well. There you go. And uh, so Sins underscore one, two, three wants to know what is your biggest fear? I fear nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Everyone's scared of something. <laughs> Um, I fear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I hate scary movies because then I can't sleep at night. Oh really? Yeah. Can't watch them. No. Me neither. I, I, I hate. Anything. I hate nothingness. That sounds weird, but like, uh, I hate the sky at night when you can't see stars because you can't. You don't have any depth perception. I know what you mean. And you're like, it's I don't like, know how far <laughs> up that is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just weird. And yeah. It's a weird feeling. Totally. Um, I probably don't like spiders. Like, I don't know. Oh damn! Cool. Get those away yeah. from me. There's so many in my bedroom. <laughs> It sucks. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping over your house ever again. <laughs> <laughs> and Paige Alvos finally wants to know, oh, this is nice, Paige, what do you love most about your fans? Oh, they, they they one support. thing. 
you know, constant support. It's hard to choose one thing. Because, like, it's just... It, to have that... It's, it's almost like a family. To have, like, a, yeah. a group of people that are just there to support you all the time. It's insane. Since, one since, thing, since the other two boys had serious answers, I'm going to say the dank memes. <laughs> that is <laughs> true. Because they do have some good memes. Yeah. No, but the support, the support is, like... Yeah. Top tier. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's... there's I mean, we've been doing it for like two years, and there's still people who've been, been there, there the whole time. And they'll, yeah. they'll buy there's it. There's no one else comes out. That's just yeah. awesome. Yeah. They're just there for us. But the memes are good. <laughs> the memes are good. The there you go. Good. Shout out to the fans. So, you guys, you're headlining, you touched on it before, you're, you're headlining an event called Bring It On Festival. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's one of the largest youth week events in New South Wales. Um, guys, Bring It On Festival is free, it's all ages. It's at the Fairfield Showground on Sunday, April 9th. So, mark it in your calendars now. Hit them up on Twitter, Facey, Insta if you want any more details. Um, you can catch more of the Insteria boys in the autumn issue of Girlfriend, which is out March 13th. They're spilling everything. We asked you guys everything about dating, love, <laughs> yeah. girls, all that stuff. It's all in the mag, so make sure you pick all up your copy. All, all the goss. All the goss. You, you guys gotta get this issue because there's a lot of goss in there. <laughs> it's packed with goss. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>